Hi everyone, thanks for watching today's episode of Pink and Green. We are in Eco Chic, Portland, Oregon, and as you can see, I am surrounded in this lush, with these lush fabrics. They are hand-woven carpets, and I feel so abundant. I kind of feel like a queen right now, actually. The name of the store is Kush Carpets, and I can't wait to share with you what these guys got. Come on. Our company is Kush, K-U-S-H, Hand Knotted Carpets. And everybody, of course, asks what, you know, what does Kush mean? And it, to us, it means a lot of different things. There's the obvious connotations, like the Hindu Kush. Kush also means the nice wool uh, underneath a, a sheep's chin. But more so than that for us personally is it's sort of the implied connotations of what Kush means to us. And we kind of like the sound of it, and it sort of implies um, making choices that are comfortable for you. What's Kush? What's easy? And that's how we really respond and pick our rugs is just that gut level response. So talk to me a little bit about your inspiration here. What, show me your favorite right now. What, what, what do you love? Because there's so much to love here, really. I love that rug in the center right now. That's called Ooh. Marpo. It's uh -huh. a Tibetan rug woven in Nepal. And it's just such an amazing example of, of modern design with warm, rich, contemporary colors. So tell me a little bit about the process. Let's, I just want to touch it. Sure, yeah, amazing. no, the wool is, is really wonderful. The whole process is manual from beginning to end. The wool is hand sheared. Um, and then hand spun, and then um, dyed with vegetable dyes, natural vegetable dyes, and, um, and then the pieces hand knotted. So from beginning to end, it's traveling through probably a half dozen hands. I've always been so visually motivated. I like film, and I like colors, and I like texture. And and after a while of being surrounded by these works of art, you find that you want to know more, and you find that you start to develop your own taste, and you stop being intimidated about what you think an oriental rug should be. And once I made that leap and we bought our first rug, I was just completely enamored with, with the idea of, of being in this business. My love is to go to different countries out in the world and travel around and find a random remote piece of, of art that a group of people are making and then to bring it home and try to show the world why I think it's so great. People also in this city have placed such an emphasis on, on buying local, which I think is really important, and also sort of supporting smaller endeavors, which is essentially the heart of what we're doing. We're buying um, pieces from really small collections that you just don't find mass produced in any any store really in the country. And, and we're happy to answer very direct questions about where our product comes from, how people are compensated. Um, one of the things we support is we're a retail sponsor of Rugmark and they're an independent organization that certifies that people are treated fairly, uh, paid a living wage and that there's no uh, labor involved that shouldn't be. And you know ultimately at the end of the day uh, Everybody who owns a small business wants to make money, but we want to make money in an ethical way, in a way that makes us feel good. And people can vote with their dollars. That's what we do. And people who walk in our door, they're voting with their dollars, and they feel that, and they know that. The rug world today offers tremendous quality, and it offers just a plethora or myriad of new designs and colors. And I think people are terrified of rugs to a certain extent. And we allow people to take rugs home, and um, we love just showing rugs, talking about rugs in the gallery. And we just want people to make choices that um, speak to them. And uh, for us, we just take our time and allow people to educate their own palate. You know, we'll work with people for months or years, however long it takes for them to find the right thing for them. And that's why uh, we, our customers continue to come back time after time. It's just, they, it just seems like people feel comfortable working with us and that's really important. That's the most important thing to us actually. Oh, that is so lush. Yeah. This oh, is this will look great in my house. It's an Iranian rug. In a situation like this a lot of times they're given an idea of of um, of what to do, just a very basic idea of the design and then the weavers sort of interpret from there. They I just have to interrupt you for oh, a second. That's Hannah. Did you just get that on your trip? Yeah. <gasps>
It's actually Get up close to this. This is incredible. It's almost gone now. I just got back from India, and um, you know the women love henna there. They they for their I mean just in their everyday use oh, in particular, but for so festivals female. and weddings, they do they'll do henna all up and down the insides and the outsides of their hands, and their feet and up their calves and oh. shins. It's it's amazing. This is the most incredible place, really, truly, and I'm so excited to be here today and to be able to share this with you. When I came in today, I was literally blown away by all the textures and colors and love that, is, that has been put into all of these carpets and fabrics, and there's so much meaning and tradition and spirituality behind this. Thanks for watching, and I will see you next time.